here's a little way I came up with to play uh, I Will Survive. So I was sitting there trying to noodle and find the vocal melody in the intro, right? Um, I've never been good at being like one of those voice leading finger picker guys. You see those crazy guys that do all like the vocal melody and chords at the same time. So I try to find my own little way of being able to do that, but by using the pick and hitting all the strings at the same time, right? So um, the song starts out on an E7 flat 9 chord, right? So you're just going to play your standard kind of E7 shape, right? But you want to play it with your, uh, your ring finger on A on 7, index finger on 6 on D, pinky on 7 on G, and then have your middle finger on 6 on the B string. kind of mimicking that piano part that's in the beginning and you can just arpeggiate it however you want it doesn't really matter I just kind of go slow and then speed it up okay and then we get into the beginning vocal part right before the drums kick in so I'm gonna play a G major first and G major is gonna act as the word at right at first So we got five on D, four on G, bar B and E on three. Okay, and then I hit that, and then I take my middle finger off of the G, and I just slide into this A minor, right? We have D on seven, bar G, B, and E on five, and we're going to hit the open A with it too, okay? So I slide before I strum down with the open A in it, right? Strum it down uh, four times or five times. Okay, so the fourth time you're going to put your pinky down on the eighth fret on the B string and then take it off and strum it once more, right? So you have. on the 8th fret E string this time. Okay, so you have... Okay, this next part, we're going to play... You could look at this as a D minor 7 without the root, or you could look at it as a um, first inversion of F major with uh, A on the bottom. However you want to see it, right? We're just going to bar 5 on D, G, B, and E. Have 7 on D and 6 on B. I'll put all these in the description, right? And then we're going to have your pinky on 7th fret E string. Okay. And then we're going to take your pinky off. And then after that, you just strum it. Okay. Now we're going to add the root, that D, on 5, that A string. And we're going to put our pinky on 7th fret on G string, right? Okay, so you have... Okay. And then from there, we're going to hit that the high E string on the 5th fret three times. And then we're going to go play a G chord with that A on the bottom on the 5th fret high E, right? So you have 5, 4, 3, 3, 5 on E. And then we're just going to hit that once. And then strum down three times on that G. And then I strum down to hammer on to the 3, or the 5 on E, right? And then the second time, we're going to hit it twice after the hammer on. B on the 5th fret and strum that down, right? Okay, so you have... So 
don't you put your pinky down on B on five? <laughs> C chord and we're going to put uh, this sixth fret B string in there too, right? So you have seven on A, bar D, G, B, and E on five, and then have your middle finger on six on B, right? And you're not going to fret, you're not going to hit the E string on any of these, right? Just leave it out. So you just strum it down, and then take your middle finger off the B on six. Strum it down um, three times. We're gonna go to this F and hammer on into it. So you have uh, bar your D, G, B, and E on five, and then hammer on to seven on D and six on B together at the same time. And then after you hammer on, take your um, one, two, three. The fourth time you strum down, take your uh, middle finger off of six on B, and then hammer it back on. And then we're gonna go pinky on the eighth fret B to six on B, and then we're gonna change chords. So far we have this. Um, This kind of minor shape on D and G with your ring and pinky finger on the seventh fret, and then your middle finger has six on B, and then put your thumb on seven on the low E and mute out the A string. Okay, this will be a D minor six with B on the bottom. It's basically this chord. I'm just playing it here. Okay. And then we're gonna go back and forth between six on B and five on B for the vocal melody. have that uh Alright and then it gets into it, right? So that last part, after you go back and forth between six and five on B Seven. Have your pinky on nine. I kind of slide into it, right? From the nine on uh, seven to nine on G. All right. So you bar A and D on seven. Have nine on G, and keep your E and B's open. And then we're gonna keep your pinky down on nine on G, and then go to seven A to six B. That'll be your E major, right? slow the whole opening you have um, after that E7 flat 9 chord that we do we just go uh, um, Into that E major. Okay. 
And then what I'll do to get into the verse when the drums kick in, and I'm playing the intro slower than the rest of the part, right? I'm trying to give it that kind of, you know, something like an arrangement you would do live, and then everything kicks in and it gets to be up tempo, right? So I'm doing that intentionally. And then I'm going to give it a smack. And then I'm going to slide in this little pentatonic lick from box five to box one of A minor. I'm going to go B and E on three to B and E on five. So smack. And you can hit it once or twice. And then uh, just slide into five. And then we're going to do this A minor. Five on uh, low E. Mute out the A. D on seven, bar G, B, and E on five. I'm gonna do two bars of that. And then I'm gonna play this A minor triad for the other two. I'm gonna go 12, 13, 14, E, B, G. And we're gonna go to D minor. Okay, thumb on 10 on the low E. Sometimes you hit it, sometimes you don't, but you don't have to, right? D on 12, bar uh, G, B, and E on 10. And then on all these chords, we're going to use our pinky to just kind of hit the high E or the B string and do a little lick out of it, right? So you have... Put your pinky on 12 on E, take it on and off. And then I kind of slide into the chords just to kind of give it that kind of groove that the song has. You don't have to do that, though. We're going to play a G with a B on the bottom, so your first inversion. Just bar D, G, B, and E on 7, 9 on D, 8 on B. Then we're going to take our pinky, put it on 10 on B, and take it off. Then we're going to go to a C major chord. Thumb on 8 on E, beat out the A. Then you have 10, 9, 8, 8, D, G, B, E. And then put your pinky on 10 on G and take it off. From there, we're going to go to F, F with A on the bottom right, so your first inversion, bar D, G, B, and E on 5, 7 on D, 6 on B, and this one's important, always hit the high E, don't ever hit the B, because then we'll be repeating that twice for the next chord, right? So you just have here, pinky on a 8 on E, and take it on and off, then we're going to go to that D minor uh, 6 with a... Uh, B on the bottom, and this time fret it with your uh, the seventh fret with your middle and ring finger. So we can catch pinky on eighth fret on B string. It's a sixth fret on B, right? Then we're gonna go to that E sus two open seven seven A and D nine on G. Keep your pinky down on nine. Then we're gonna go open. 7 on A, 6 on D for your E major. Alright, so that whole little part. try it again you can just mix it up and then just do licks with your pinky like on the seventh fret for your a minor all right so that's everything with the intro and the verse um there's one little part i didn't really figure it out but i'm just kind of going by ear there's like this little string part that's in the middle of like kind of a bridge type of thing. And it's kind of like. That kind of thing, right? It's just walking down on the G string on the A minor scale. 12, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4, 2, 1. You can noodle with that. You can do octaves with it if you wanted to. But uh, that's everything, right?
Um, so if you wanted to play just first position, you'd have A minor, D minor, G, C major, and then you'd have a F major, and that D minor 6 would be on the bottom. So your E sus 2, to E major. Alright, so that's everything. Just uh, practice slope and have fun.